So I was born in France, in south of France, Marseille. I come from Egypt, my parents, both of them are from Egypt, from a little town near Cairo. My parents are not musicians, I have two sisters, they're also not musicians, so basically I'm the only one <laughs> who plays uh, classical music. We are a big family. <laughs> it's, it's very emotional at home, like everything or nothing, there is no middle way. My parents are extremely uh, connected to Egypt, so they also wanted us to get this culture very much. There is always music at home. And when I mean music in this sense, I don't mean classical music. I mean really traditional Arabic uh, sounds and rhythms. It is something very natural for us to just move in rhythm, dance, enjoy it. It's a way of not taking life too serious. But um, I could really disconnect from Egyptian culture and everything uh, with my instrument. And then, of course, school was very French. All my friends are French, I mean, at that time. So it was really separated, like home. And then once I'm out of home, it was extremely different. But it's still normal, because I really grew up this way. My mother, she met this theory teacher who told her that I should learn the viola. Just like that. She didn't meet me. She didn't know how tall, how big, how it had nothing to do with my, <laughs> you know. She just said it's a very beautiful instrument, not often beautifully played. That's exactly what she said. And uh, that we always need a viola player. So I started with the viola like that, completely by chance, I think. I presented myself to Conservatoire Supérieur de Paris. I got accepted and I went to Paris with um, just turned 17 to do the bachelor. Paris is, um, it was comparing to Marseille, of course, just a complete different word. The level was very, very different in a way that it was, of course, extremely high compared to Marseille. I enjoyed it because I finally found this huge vibe of okay, we all want to be good, which was not really the case of Marseille. I finished my bachelor degree and then I decided to go to Berlin to do my master um, degree with Tabea Zimmermann, my teacher. I have never lived in a, such a tiny town, ever. Like my, Marseille is big, Paris is big, Berlin is huge. And when I arrived here, I I couldn't really believe that this is exactly the size of the town, but it's, it's, I really like it here. I think it's the, the city where I sleep the best and the most, because <laughs> it's so quiet. I love fashion. <laughs> I love because it's, it's also very bad. It's a bad habit I got. It's like I love to go shopping and I love to watch fashion shows, I love to watch what's happening in the moment uh, with this brand, this brand, this brand, who is copying who, who is it? it's just, it's very exciting. And I love to watch Arabic movies, like series, I often watch only Arabic, although they are really not good, but it's just, it's, it's there, I enjoy it so much. I would love to play the violin. Crazy, but it's true. I love their repertoire. It's, it's frustrating. I don't love their instrument. I love what they have to play. What music means to me? Um, if I say everything, it's a bit uh, cliche, but it is everything. It's, I cannot imagine anything without music. The aim of, of a musician, or at least mine, is to, I guess, to make people really feel good when they listen to, to the music I perform. If you can reach that, if you can make everyone just have, you know, like disconnect with their lives and enjoy this few minutes of music, I think it's great. Come to my concert because you're going to get goosebumps. Mm -hmm.